Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea here. It's the end of April, so we are doing our current supplies and book haul for the month. Yay! I said I wasn't going to buy anything, didn't I? I lied. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. This is an adult channel. The videos on this channel are made for adults and in no way, shape or form made for or intended for children. Let's get that out of the way and let's crack in. So the first thing I did this month was I ordered a pencil case for my polychromos because I was fed up of lifting them out of the tin and I wanted to use them on a particular page. Double page spread actually. Um, I haven't actually started using the pencils yet but I have started the page. Um, so I bought this one, it's BT Sky one and it was around 20 quid. So I've got all my, it's got a little carrying handle, nice little pattern and I've got all my polys in it. Like so. I never know which way is the right way around, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, so there you go. So there's three slots. Um, it's just going to make using my polychromos a lot, lot easier because previously I was using them in the tub and I'd have to, depending on where I was colouring, either spread them all out on the table and they'd be everywhere or I'd have to take them out one at a time when I needed them and put the trays back in. It was a nightmare. So I'm glad to have that finally. I need to order another pencil case when I get paid for a different set of pencils. So I've got loads of pencils that need them. The next thing is, you're gonna wonder why I'm showing you an all butter shortbread tin. It's, it's not. There are pencils in here. This is the 100 set of the Crayola normal pencils. I bought these to do a review. Um, and I was swatching them this afternoon and Jennifer saw them and wanted to play with them. And my idea was that once I'd done my review, if I wasn't that keen on them, Jennifer could have them anyway, because they're not that expensive. It was just under £20 for the 100 set. Unfortunately, they're now out of stock on Amazon. Um, so that's why they're in this tin, because as soon as you start to put them out the packet and they just went everywhere, and I thought, oh God. Just give her the ones I've swatched and let her go and colour with them, and she was scribbling with them. So I put them in this tin. So tomorrow, I am colouring the picture with this at the moment. When I start colouring with this again, I'll come in here, I'll look at my swatch chart and I'll decide, okay, I'm doing the person's hair or I'm doing the background or I'm doing this bit, her dress or whatever. These are the colours I'm going to use and I'll just pull out, I'll find them and pull them out. But I've put them in that tin just to keep them safe because with Jennifer, things end up everywhere. And with the Crayola Super Tips, she does just tend to, to leave the tops off and they end up um, drying out. She's on her third set already. Just pop them out of the way. Okay, so that's the supplies. I, I don't buy much supplies. Like I said, I'll probably buy another pencil case um, this month or May, but uh, that'll be about it really. Well, I say that, you never know. On to the books. So the first book is one you've already seen. I've put a flip through this one. This is the Jack the Ripper Modern Colouring Book Up by Keeney Mathis. It says Keeney Mathis on the front and then there's nothing about it on the inside. I'm not going to do a full flip through because there is one on here already and we weren't that keen on the book. It's a bit stupid. So there you go. I'll just go in my Jack the Ripper collection. On to something a lot better. The next one is Colour in Heaven's Fantasy Princess Special. This is this month's edition. This is one that came out in April, issue 61. Josh Lee is the designer, the artist. There is, again, a flip through on this. I am working on one in here and I'll be working on another one shortly. Um, absolutely amazing pictures. I've got to be honest, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in with some pencils on this one. I've added one, two, three more to my Jade Summer collection. If you are, I've got tons of Jade Summer books. I've got over 40. That even be more. I've got two more on the way. Um, so they are, the first one is uh, Flower Mandala's Mandala Colouring Book. As you can see from the tickets, I have actually done something in this. This will be in my um, colouring, completed pages for the month. I've done lots of mandalas and patterns. This is just lovely, this is. And I'll probably do more in this. It's just so easy and so relaxing when I'm just sitting around watching TV in the evening. Get the felt pens out, or the gel pens. I think I've used gel pens in this one. Just get on with it. So, 
There we go, I'll pop this one over here because that needs to go there. Uh, the second shade summer is the Grayscale Unicorns colouring book. So I've got Unicorns 2, and this is I think the first one. I've got that picture marked out to colour, that's why there's a tick in it. I haven't coloured in this one yet. Um, but I really love this book. If there isn't a flip through on here, <coughs> on the channel, <coughs> there will be soon. I, I think it's a lovely book. And it's the grayscale that works brilliant with the markers. I will have to try pencils on this grayscale. I haven't tried it on the Jade Summer one. But now I'm getting a bit more confident doing grayscale. And I've done Gothic Alchemy with pencils. I will, I will have to do one of these as well. And the third book I got from the Jade Summer was a company was uh, Fantasy Colouring Adventure. This one came out a while ago. It's from 2017, and it's 40 unique images. So there's no duplicates in this one, but they are very detailed, as you can see. I like that. Um, it's a lovely book. It really is a lovely book. There's some lovely pictures in it. That one's lovely. So there's some uh, Cinderella in her carriage. Just absolutely lovely, lovely images in that one. I've wanted it for a while and I was like, there's so many of them I want, but I just bought that one. So there's 10 books in all, by the way. Uh, the next one I got was Sherry Baldy's My Bestie Lil Gypsy colouring book. As you can see, there's a tag in it. I've coloured in this book already. I've done a flip through. I don't think it's up yet. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. It will be up soon. Um, but I love this book. They are just, look how cute that is. They are just so adorable. I can see me colouring in this one a lot, either in markers, the one I've done is with markers, and with pencils as well. I just love it. I bought another Selena Fennec book for my collection because obviously, as you know, I like the Selena Fennec. And I've got Selena Fennec's Fairy Portraits colouring book. I do have to get some of her grayscale ones because she's got grayscale ones as well. There's still quite a few of hers I haven't got. I'm currently trying to compile a list of all my colouring books by artists. So the ones that have got artists, so things like Sherry Baldy, Jade Summer, although it's a brand name, Selena Fennec, Johanna Bassett and so on, will have a, a spreadsheet and they'll have separate sheets of their own. Talking of Johanna Bassett, she has got a free downloadable on her website at the moment called Flourish. Um, it's like 14 pages long. I've downloaded it, but I haven't printed it out because I've run out of ink and cardstock. So the cardstock should be arriving Friday. I'm not sure where the ink is. It's on its way. So hopefully by the weekend, I'll be able to print that out and I will show you that as a colouring book in the next, uh, in May's haul, should there be one. There will be one. I've got two books on the way already. Plus Colour Heaven, plus Flores, that's four already. So this one is A Fairy of Portraits. Oh, I love this. Again, there's two of all of these. I think I've done a flip through on this, but it's not up. I'm not sure, I'll have to check. Um, if I haven't got a flip through of any of the books that you see on this channel up, just let me know and I will happily, happily do you a flip through. I, I love doing the flip throughs. I really like that one. Oh, that one's got to go there because I've used a picture in that one. Uh, the next one is The Enchanted Fairy Grayscale Colouring Book by Molly Harrison. I've only got one other Molly Harrison book and it's not the grayscale, so I thought I'm going with the grayscale now. I'm getting more and more confident with it. I'm not so intimidated by it. I'm buying some grayscale books. So this was the one I picked this month. Beautiful book. I can do markers in this. Obviously, I'd need to put paper in between or card in between. I can use pencils in this. I can see pencil Black Widows would probably go quite well on this, I think. I will probably try that. And I think it's just look how beautiful they are. So absolutely stunning book. Like that. So again, Molly Harrison's got a few out and I really want them all. So I'm trying to yeah, collect too many books, obviously. Two more to go. Yay! I think that was ten on that one. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yes. Um, and the last two are by Kirby Rosanna. So I finally picked up a Phantomorphia. I have got Geomorphia coming. It's had to come from America because it's out of stock on Amazon. So I had to buy it from a third party, but it is on its way. So you all know Kirby Rosanna and Phantomorphia and all that stuff. 
yes his work intimidates me but I love it and I have started one of his pictures in Imagimorphia so that's one of the ones I'm going to try and finish for next month so that one and I also bought the newest one which is Worlds Within Worlds now this was out of stock on Amazon, uh, Amazon UK so I ordered it from W. H. Smith they had it in W. H. Smith it was, it was probably more money it was more money um, but I thought you know what I've got an account with them I'm just going to order it Again, I love the smell of this book. I can smell it from up here, it's absolutely stunning. It's a lovely book, his artwork is stunning. I might do the snow globe, although it's quite intricate around the bottom. I do like the snow globe. Just absolutely stunning, again. Oh, I, I do love, I do admire people who can draw like this because I can't draw to save my life. They're jealous as well, because I wish I could. But there we go. So <laughs> that was the last book I bought this month. So those are all the books I got in the month of April. I can't wait to see what May brings. Lots more colouring pages, I would imagine. Obviously, they're not all there because I've put the ones I've coloured into one side ready for my end of the month wrap up, which you might see before this. But then again, you probably won't because it depends on when I film it. Hope you've enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you want me to colour in any of these books. I'll happily do that on camera for you. If you do, just leave me a comment down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I pop up, pop up a new video. Hope you have enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.